going on, everybody? Welcome back once again. It's me, Molt. Super stoked to be here with you guys today. We're playing some more Clash Royale. I'm at 4868. Uh, I've been playing a little bit off of video, obviously. Um, been pushing up, and I've seen a lot of double prints. As you guys know, that's kind of the meta right now. Um, and so I made a deck to kind of counter that, and really all you need to do that is um, have a P.E.K.K.A. or something along those lines. Hopefully, if they update the bowler, um, it should be able to bowl the princes back. That's one of my biggest uh, things about the bowler. I feel like it should really be able to do that because if a tornado can pull a P.E.K.K.A. or a Golem or something like that, then I feel like a bowler should be able to bowl back princes. You know, I don't think a bowler should necessarily bowl back a giant or anything like that, but I definitely do think it should be able to affect uh, affect the princes. But we're going to go ahead, hop into a match here. Um, the BM is unbelievable on the ladder right now. <clears throat> so I just automatically mute because I just don't, I just don't want to deal with it. We're going up against Bob. <clears throat> What's going on, Bob? Yay. What you got for me, big dog? Bullseye. I don't even know why he even countered the ice spirit. I almost got it right there. Gosh, I almost got it. Do, do, do. Alright, what do we think this guy's got? He's got a minor deck. I'm gonna actually go ahead and just do this right here. Dang. That'll be a little bit of damage done over there. I'm not gonna rush it too much. Alright. I'm fine with that big dog. You don't know I have a P.E.K.K.A. yet, so... Let's get after it. Shoot. Uh, I'm gonna have to go here and then here to distract uh, his P.E.K.K.A. Yes. No, don't waste yourself! It wasted itself hard right there. Alright, we'll go ahead and go Princess here. That kind of sucks. Go ahead and send this in here. That's not going to work, buddy. Nice. Mega Minion should stay up as well. Nope. Cool. Nice. That worked for us. Get it, Miner. Get it, Miner. Now, here's the funny thing. Once I made this deck, I pretty much stopped facing Double Prince. <laughs> Uh, which was just funny to me. I was like, wait, I was literally facing it like every three matches. Where did Double Prince go? <clears throat> Let me go and just fireball this. Um, that way our princess can have a little bit of fun with it as well. We'll put her off in this lane just to shoot back. That was a good play. Uh, and I need to do this. Uh oh, that's gonna be a lot of damage over there, actually. Nah, we'll be fine. Hey, come over here. Oh, no, 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 no. What up, big dog? You are not allowed to come to this tower. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. That works. That works. That works. That works. Forty-eight ninety-five. Let's keep on pushing. Bet. Alipro, nineteen eighty-nine. So he's twenty-eight years old. I'll leave those. I hate having to leave spear goblins. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -da. Ba -ba. Lava Hound, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this then. You wanna play that game with me, big dog? Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. I gotta get my Ice Spirit down ASAP. Go Ice Spirit! No! Are you serious? That's why I need a zap in this deck. Ha 
Man, that sucked. Oh, the Inferno Dragon, boys. Inferno Dragon's gonna be the death of this deck, man. But we can do this. He's gonna zap. He's gonna have to zap. They're gonna stay alive. Princess, what are you shooting at? Sorry, what? Did he not zap the princess as well? And yet she remained targeted on the tower? Get it, game. Get it. All right, so, uh, I have to be very patient here. I was about to say, I wanted, I really wanted to be able to wait on the Inferno Dragon. Gosh, bro, Inferno, Inferno, uh, actually, this worked out fairly well. Send that in. Spear Gob's down. Ice Spirit coming in as well to hopefully freeze up a couple of them. Okay. He's, he's getting good pushes here. Uh, I'm doing this. I'm going for this right here. I'm ignoring it. Are you freaking kidding me? Freeze it. Freeze it, Ice Spirit. Freeze it. Nice. Come on, boys. And now we've got some great damage done over on that other side. No! Alright, so this is going to be very, very problematic for us. And right here. I lost. Uh, maybe not, but probably. Just because I can't, I can't take all of this out. Dang, man! That sucks. We pushed and took out that entire tower. We just didn't have enough. We just didn't have enough air defense for that. Um, I don't see lava hound decks too much. Like, yeah, literally all that I had was a mega minion and the princess. I guess the two spear goblins, but they can get zapped. Um. I don't see Lava Hound that much too much. I don't see Lava Hound that much. So I don't really like think about it too much when it comes to building a deck. But one of the funny things is, and this is probably, this has happened countless times where I build a new deck and in my head I go, shoot, what about Lava Hounds? Nah, I'll be fine. And then literally the next match I face a Lava Hound after not facing one for like a week. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be fun. Bro. I'm sorry? <laughs> See if we can get it taken out this time. Alright, so this guy's probably, if I'm guessing correctly, has um, Golem Double Prince or at least, at least Golem Dark Prince. Mega Minion should take out the Dark Prince. Yep. Princess cannot reach that. I'm just going to send these in just to get a little bit of chip damage done on the tower. I lied. Okay, this is going to be fun. What you got for it, big dog? We don't know what he has for it yet. Oh my gosh. Yo, the princess seriously almost took it all out. Three musketeer. So this is a um So this is a, a bridge spam deck. We are facing a, a very skillful bridge spam deck that we have to worry about. Um Like these these decks can be pretty tough. He's gonna have his Dark Prince available. No, he's not. Golly, bro. Thankfully, we do have... Are you kidding? 
Wait, what? It is a real thing. <laughs> what a joke. Hey, come on over here, guys. Nice eye spirit. I still I I I I am I'm, I'm really confused as to how that bandit made it anywhere remotely close to my tower. It was one shot that entire time. I always barely miss getting them. This is this this type of deck geeks me out. It's like, wait, so I can just drop stuff at the bridge, right? And then I win. If that bandit goes to my tower, I'm I'm done. Oh shoot, the Pega went the wrong way. I lost. Oh. You guys know the feeling where you just want to see something new and you just see the same old stuff. That's how I feel. That's why I hope that the, I, I genuinely hope that this update shows us new decks like constantly. That's that was that would like Royale was at its prime to me when they were releasing balance changes every two weeks, when they were uh, releasing new cards all the time, and I know and I know that that can't. That that can't well no it can be sustained, um, that can be sustained, but you would have to have a pretty big team in order to sustain it. Oh no! You'd have to have a pretty big team in order to sustain it, and I don't know I don't know how sizable their team is, but when they were releasing cards and cards and then balancing cards and then releasing new cards and then balancing those cards and like it was just like this fluid beautiful machine of just updatedness that's when the game was at its prime for me and so i'm really really hoping that with this update sparks a new system of of um balance and and updates and, and things like that because like that's why a lot of people are talking about fortnite and how they don't like it because a lot of people are switching over to it and whatever but they're constantly updating the game now they do have a massive team they have a massive team um, so obviously they're gonna be able to do that. They're gonna be able to update the game that much. Um, and, and honestly, I, I think that Fortnite's updating their game just a little bit too much because it's causing errors within the game itself. Um, but yeah, so, okay, here we go. Nice, Pekka. All right, this will be interesting. We'll go ahead and do this. We gotta make him choose what he wants to uh, log, yep. And he went with that. Look at those archers just being alive for four hours a day. Oh, nice. We just made him use his Tesla then. Shoot. I'm okay with that. Oi. Pretty sure he just used his, uh, his tornado as well. Yep, so that just got dumped on. Yo, nice archers back there, boy. Oh, I thought I thought the archers were still alive. No, I'm so sad. I need to save up some elixir. You actually just logged uh, ice spirit. Do we think he's gonna go hogger down the other lane? No, I think he's gonna poison, which is a bad call. <laughs> One of my fire spirits took poison damage. That's game. Nice. So, 
The dream, ladies and gentlemen, the dream is that with this new update, there is more frequent new content, not just updating old content. And again, like, that's coming from a place of experiencing that with Royale before. Uh, but that's tough to sustain. And, and I understand that. And so that's why I understand, like, the new content as of right now is things around the Pro League. So it's the same game, just different experiences surrounding the game. So it's still the same decks. But now you can play it in this tournament. Now you can play that deck as a pro over here. Now you can do it over here, over here. And that's good. I'm happy that they're doing that. But I just want to make sure that they don't forget about the casual side of the game. Um, so there's a deck that I'm playing right now. It looks like we... Did we win one in the beginning? Did I draw in this match? I did. So the first draw, victory, loss, loss, victory. And I believe that we ended up... Yeah, we're worse off than where we started the video. Nice. <laughs> um, I love you guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for all your support. You guys are the best. I'll see you all later. Peace out.